Welcome to Access Multimedia. This is Harshita Sheshalan and in this lesson we'll be talking about decimal multiplication. Our objective for today's lesson is learning to place decimals in the right place after multiplying decimals. So what I mean is like if we have 3.2 times 5 and we do 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 2 is 15, 15 plus 1 is 16, we're going to learn where to put the decimal points. So let's get started. The first example is 3.4 times 5 equals 17. And by the way, I'll be showing you guys two methods, but for this, I can't show you the second method for the first one, so I'll show you the second method for the second question. So, 3. For, for our first question, it is 3.4 times 5 equals 17. So, our first method is estimation and then finding out where to put the decimal point. So basically what you do is multiply the, the whole numbers. So the whole numbers are like number the, the numbers that are before or to the left of the decimal point. So there's 3 and 5. Then what you do is multiply 3 and 5. So 3 times 5 is 15. Oops, my bad. So 3 times 5 is 15. Uh, so that means that our answer should be close to 15. So wherever you put the decimal point, the whole number should be close to 15. Okay? So let's, uh, what we do is then we try out different places to put the decimal point. So um, I just wrote 17 over here. Now, what if we put the decimal point after the 7? Is 17 close to 15? Well, yeah, it is close to 17 is close to 15. So what about 1.7? Is that close to 15? Well, not as close um, not as close as 17 is, right? So 17 is closer to 15 than 1.7. So our answer or our decimal point will be after 17. Okay, now let's do the second question. 9.8 times 2.3 equals 2,254. And we definitely know that is wrong after what we've learned, all right, in this first question. So 9 times 2 is 18, and our answer should be close to 18, and 2,254 is not close to 18. So what about 2,200? Let me just write that down. 2,254. 54 and then what if our decimal point is after the 5 well is that close to 18 well no it is not close to 18 what about after the second two 22.54 is that close to 18 well yes it is close to 18 it's just 4 away and something else 4 point something else away what about 2.254 is that closer to it is that closer to 18 well, no, 22.54 is closer to 18. So we can say our answer is 22.54. So that's the first method, and now we're going to learn the second method. Basically, what the second method is, is we count the number of, uh, so we count the numbers, the number of numbers after the decimal point. So what I mean is, I'm just going to write this down, and then I'll tell you what I mean. So... What I mean is we see where the decimal point is. So in this case, the decimal points are right here. Now, we see how many numbers are there after the decimal point. Well, one, two. So we combine them. We don't just do it separately. Okay? Then, that means that in our answer, there should be two numbers after the decimal point. So we just count one. Two. So those are two numbers after the decimal point. So our decimal point will be after 22.54. So why I said we can we couldn't do the uh, like we couldn't do this the second method for the second I mean for the first question is because they didn't give us the zero in the end, right? So they didn't give us the zero. Like if it was like 170, then we could have done it. 
but some people just do it like this 1.7 and that is wrong so also even if you do the second method for the first question you need to check for reasonableness does that make sense does 1.7 make sense well if then you have to combine the first method and the second method to do that okay Word problem. Kelly, the fifth grader, is learning how to multiply numbers with decimals. Her teacher gave her a problem. The problem was 2.6 multiplied by 3.2. And Kelly's answer is 832. Is her answer right? If not, what is the right answer? So, while I was reading, I wrote the question down. So, what you do, we can do the, actually, we can do this two methods and i'll do the i'll do both of the methods so i'm going to write the first method over here so the first method is the estimating method so two times three is six our answer should be close to six all right so uh we can easily tell that the answer will be 8.32 because 83 is not close to six nor is 832. <coughs> now let's uh try the second method so the first method was pretty simple at that moment because we can easily tell where the decimal point is for like numbers like these but yeah so we can easily tell that now let's do the second method so how many numbers are there after the decimal point so there's two decimals and there's two numbers after the decimal point so that means that there will be two numbers after the decimal point in our so I'm going to write 832, I meant to write 832, not 23. Now, let's count backwards from 1, so like not, so let's count from, let's count from right to left, so 1, 2. So those are two numbers, that means our decimal point will be after 8, and that means our answer is 8.32, and we got the same answer. So, I want you guys to know that even if you use um, the first method or the second method, your answer should stay the same. Now, it's problem time. What you guys do is pause the video and try these questions on your own. Then, unpause and check if your answers are right. I will assume that you guys pause the video and let's get started. So, the first method, 3.4 times 9.8 equals 3,332. And let's find our estimated estimation. So 3 times 9 is 27. So our answer should be close to 27. And let me just write estimation over here. All right. So let's see. Our answer should be close to 27. And we can say that we can easily say that it would be 33.32. But I'm going to show it to you step by step. So, um, we can say, okay, we're going to figure this out slowly. So, will, is 3,332 plus 27? No, there, you can get it smaller. What about, like, what about 333.2? No, no, that is not close to 27. What about 33.2? Well, yeah, that is close to 27. What about, so we can say that that is a possibility. What about 3.32? Uh, 332. Well, so 3.332 is close, but it's not as close as 33.32. So our answer would be 33.32. So we have to rule out the possibilities like that. Alright, now let's do the second method. So I'm just going to write down the question 3.4 times 9.8. It was 33, 3,332. Now, let's see where the decimal points are. So the decimal point is right here and then here. And there's two digits after the decimal point. That means there should be two digits after the decimal point in our answer. So one, two. That means our answer is 33.32. All right, let's do the... Second question, I meant to say second right here. All right, so the second question says 6.8 times 13 equals 80, I mean 884. So let's do the first method. So 
So our estimation should be close to, let's see, it should be close to 13 times 6. Let's do 13 times 6. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 1 is 6. Plus 1 is 78. So our estimation is 78. So our answer should be close to 78. And let me just write estimation here to make it clear. Now, so um, we can say, let's try it out. So 884. What if we put the decimal point after the 4? So it would be 884. And 878 is, no, 884 is not close to 78. So we can rule that possibility out. What about 88.4? Well, that is a very close number. That is very close to 78. So we can say that's a possibility. What about 8.84? 8.4 is closer to 78 than 8.84. So our answer for the second question will be 88.4. Now let's try the second method. All right, I wrote the question down. Now let's do it. So how many decimal points are there? Well, I see only one. How many numbers are there after the decimal point? Well, there's only one, so let's do that. So one. So that means our, our decimal point will be after the second 8. And that's our answer, 88.4. That was all for this video, guys. Uh, please comment down below how many questions you want to write in the comment section. And then if you got one or two, good job. If you got one or zero, then keep trying and you'll get better. And thank you for watching again. Like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to get notified on our new videos, tap the notifications button.